Okay, welcome everyone. This is a beautiful exhibition. It's titled Abstracting the Landscape or Abstracting Landscapes with two artists involved, both Claire Purser from Queensland and Lise Temple from South Australia. Now, both of these artists have a beautiful way of evoking a real warmth for our landscape and a real emotional feel. The landscapes are slightly abstracted, more probably more so in Claire's paintings and less so in Lisa's. But let's get started. Both of these artists are unable to come to our opening, unfortunately. Uh, it does clash with Mother's Day. Uh, however, it's a perfect opportunity for people to come along and see this lovely exhibition. I'm going to start with one of Claire's because I don't, I, first of all I want to explain why I do this. It's not because I love getting in front of a camera, it's more to give people an idea of size and perspective. What we found in the past is if I stand or the artist stands in front of a painting, touches it, perhaps give, gives people an idea of exactly whether that painting would suit or fit in the appropriate place or the idea of having a painting in a particular area. Sometimes if I told you that painting is actually, and I haven't got a printout yet, is 41 by 61, that may not register really clearly. But if I touch that painting and show you how big it is in comparison to my hand, you've got a much better idea. So let's go through. This is one of Claire's lovely paintings. It's an oil painting on uh, linen on board. It's framed beautifully and it's 41 by 61. So we'll move along to probably my favourite painting in this, uh, in this side of the exhibition because we have the gallery divided into two and Claire's beautiful paintings are on this side of the gallery. So this one is delightful. It's actually on canvas, so you can hear me um, tapping it and it's got that lovely, not all of Claire's paintings are on canvas, some are on board, linen on board, and some are on canvas. This one, absolutely delightful, I love it. Now over here, we've got uh, some of the very tiny ones. If you're looking for some little paintings just to put inside in a little spot, if you're doing a salon wall, but also we have some works on paper and so these ones have been framed behind glass and they're beautiful. Now I'm going to move along and point you in the direction of Claire's largest painting in this exhibition and as far as I'm concerned this is the standout painting. The colours are divine. Obviously it's up around Stradbroke Island. I'm going to see if I can find the name of this painting because some of them I can't pronounce. But this one, no, I can't pronounce this one, but it is Stradbroke Island. And um, it's really quite a beautiful painting. Now don't forget the catalogue and the exhibition is online as from now. So it's Saturday, Saturday the 8th, and the exhibition will run through till the end of the month. Now, a couple of the smaller ones here, these are really quite beautiful. The colours, the blue, I, th I think it's easy to tell that Claire's paintings are based around the water and I know she does a lot of her work. And there are two separate videos, videos, what short ones, one from Claire and one from um, Lise who have introduced themselves and told you and in this video, which is also attached uh, to this website, you'll be able to listen to them talk about their work. So we'll move along. Here's another one of the larger ones um, in, with, with a different palette of lovely uh, maroons and really deep colours. And I think that might be the hinterland uh, behind Brisbane where Claire paints a lot. She paints plain air. She will go out to the location, set herself up and start painting on all sorts of surfaces. Some on paper where she'll go in the back to the studio and work on those ones. So a couple of the smaller square ones, um, really lovely size. These are 40 by 40 or around that size and uh, very popular. We sold quite a few of Claire's paintings in that size range. Um, the beautiful lamps I've positioned with these paintings, these are done by a Sydney artist, Rita Orsini, and they're hand painted on the uh, canvas and then turned into lamps. And I think that they look particularly beautiful with Claire's paintings. 
over here we have a couple more of uh, a smaller 30 by 30 painting which again is done with a lovely chunky frame and really quite beautiful and of course this this one's one of my favorites i tend to really love the really deep blue beautiful now we're going to move across to the other side of the gallery and maybe if we could do a little vista here most of this apart from the two i'm going to start with are wine country all around the um, mid north of south australia which is where claire lives and she gives a really clear explanation in her short video of how she approaches her painting practice but mainly she talks about the collage effect she turns that landscape into a collage and then uses the most beautiful thick paint and some of these I should imagine take weeks to dry because if you get up very close to them I'm not sure whether you can get the camera right up to here but you can see how thick that paint is it's like gelato ice cream absolutely gorgeous so we might just start with these little ones we had a little bit of a run today with um, <laughs> selling some paintings this little one here is going to go to Malaysia so uh, it's called boho study and of course the boho painting or the, the larger painting from that study is beside it and these are really quite um, interesting interiors I did ask uh, Lise for a couple of interiors I know she doesn't do many but I'd spotted a couple online and um, she managed to send me a couple as well this little one here is an absolute delight, already sold, but if you would like, there's another couple of smaller ones around. You may notice that most of Lisa's work is in the catalogue and priced unframed. We have sold some and the, they have uh, requested frames, but I think it's also nice to show you what we can do if you would like a frame, and we certainly do good deals on the framing if you arrange to have it done here. Now, um, I've been carrying my computer around because I forgot to bring a printout, but I don't really need to tell you the names because all of this is in front of you on the screen. But um, I did want to show you this little one because I had a, um, I had a spare frame left over for, for, from some jobs today and I can't get it off there, but anyway, um, if you can you sort of see how big this little one is? I love this little one. I love the colours, the palette is beautiful. And if anyone's interested in that one, I'm quite happy to throw the frame in at no extra charge because it was left over from uh, some other jobs that were being done today. So um, I'll hang that straight in a little while. Don't look at it. Uh, this is another beautiful painting. It's going to a... Um, Gundaroo, I think it is. I'm not sure where that is, but I think it might be a long way away. Here's a couple of favourites of mine, just these gorgeous little ones with a um, beautiful soft palette. They're very, very popular. This one here is just glorious. Again, I've put a frame on that one because I think it really suits that, that picture. And of course, the biggest painting in Lisa's side of the exhibition is this large one here which is um, it did arrive a little later than the others because the first large one we had sold quite quickly so this one is quite magnificent beautiful colorings and um, again you need to probably stand back a little bit although I've stood beside it so that you get a little bit of an idea of size and the one that's sort of very different in Lisa's exhibition is this one here which is lots of greens and blues and I can't remember the name of it so you'll have to excuse me Lise but texture and painting is absolutely divine. So I've done a quick walk around and shown you the exhibition. I'm sure you will absolutely love it. Call in if you can and see it'll run till the end of the month and if you can't we will have it online as from now and so you'll be able to see it all for as long as you want. Um, that's it for me for now, so contact the gallery if you have any questions. Thank you.